These are MSD Blaster 2 coils. These were in the old Chevy, the 57 Chevy. I'm going to show you how to test them, the primary and secondary of these coils. This was the original one that was in the car when I got it. A few years later I put another one in it. This is the one I just took out. So I'm going to show you how to test that. I have the other readings on here and here's the new one I just picked up. And I'll tell you why. All right, first what you got to do is you check the primary each terminal back and forth. You set your ohm meter to 200 ohms on your digital meter. And what you do is you got to tap both of these together to show the resistance of the wires here. And this shows 0.03. So the 0.03 you have to deduct from the actual reading when you uh, test this. So what you do is you put the positive on the positive and a negative on the negative at the primary and read it. It's hard to see, but the, but the thing for you to see it, the reading is 0.9. So I got to take three off of that. So it's 0.6. The primaries of this is supposed to be 0.7 ohms. So it's low. To start with. Then you set your multimeter to 220K. And we're going to check the secondary. Put the negative in the top. And this goes on the positive terminal. And the reading is. 5.28 so that's in spec it's supposed to be 4500 45 450 4500 to six thousands roughly and one guy had a video he claims it's supposed to be six thousand to fifteen thousand so what was happening with this it starts right up but I think what's happening, the coil gets hot. And it was hard restarted once the car was hot. You had to let the car cool down again. It's oil filled, these coils. Now I don't know if it's because of the plastic casings. Maybe it's an, uh, an off marketing of it. But this is the one I just picked up from eBay. MSD, it's in a box now. Well, here's the here's the coil. And the readings was 0.7 ohms. Because what I did is you put to put it on 200. And you touch the positive and the and the negative to each side. And it comes out to 0.9. This is moving too much here. Let me see. It comes out to 10, 1.0. So minus 3 it gives you 0.7. Then I take the, the 20K. To check the secondary, put the negative in the top and hit this side. 
10.88. That's almost double. So the other guy that had the video said it's supposed to be like six thousandths to fifteen thousandths. These are only measuring 5.28, 5.12. And this was the original one measuring 4.62. So the one I had took out of the car is measuring 5.18, 5.18, but the secondary, the uh, the primaries were only 0.6, supposed to be 0 0.7. This is 0 0.7 for the primary, but the secondary is 10.88. It's double. So I'm going to put this in the car now and take it for a ride after I do that. That's why I bought the new coil. These coils for some reason when they get hot they go bad. So that's why we picked up another coil for the 57 Chevy but that's how you test it.